What is up, my peeps? <laughs> Figured since we're working on the Ghostbuster house, why not throw on some Ghostbuster garb, right? Thank you so much, Brick Sergeant, for that awesome donation. Brick Sergeant just donated $1.99. Uh, real quickly, what I wanted to show you, and you can see it right here, this was the building, or is the building, that's behind the Ghostbusters firehouse. And I'm gonna be continuing work on that. I already have the interiors on the top two floors, and I also have the roof detail added. But I still had three more apartments to go, so I thought, you know what? Let's do a real quick early live stream and see if I can't just get the details in here and wrap this building up so we can get it actually finished and illuminated. Uh, real quickly, Stodloon, hello, hello, Fox Lee, Kiss, Chris Aubrey, Blinky Bricks, uh, G. Jacobson, Lego George Lucas, uh, Brick, uh, Brooks Bricks, Brick Sergeant, John Garrett, hello, hello, Aaron, Lego Joe, uh, Greg Bissett, Hello guys, again, I appreciate everybody logging in. And that's awesome, Lego Joe. He says he's been working on a bunch of houses for his city. And Blinky Brick says, look at those organized remotes. <laughs> oh, trust me, I'll lose them again. <laughs> that's, that goes without saying. I will definitely lose them again. But, um, at least for now, they're there, right? <laughs> anyway, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to uh, kind of re familiarize myself with what I was doing inside of these guys. Uh, and it was two bedrooms, a bathroom and a living area. Okay. <clears throat> so let me get some parts. Hello, Kenneth Swan, wordy deed. But like I said, I, I really want to get these filled just quite simply because I want to get this put together and get the lights in this and the Ghostbuster house. And, uh, the only way to do it is to get to it right <laughs> yeah i know g uh jacobson he says how am i going to find anything i cleaned off my table no it's uh i because i do believe it or not and i know like paul bot if, if he was here he would probably say not but um i generally do try in between every major build that i'm working on um i do try to clean up a little bit because it it does get disastrous bad and really really quick <clears throat> so I, I have to stop and clean up every now and then. And that was part of what I did today on top of the video that I posted earlier today, because I did that video also. And what else did I want? Door frames. Uh, brown door frames. And then I want some white doors. And hello, Guy Martin. How are you, my friend? And I also want some brown doors. Or no, gray doors. Just trying to gather up some quick parts that I know I need. I know I need those, I need those. Uh, brown bricks for the stairs. We will take that dude. And some of these. And I think, I think we're gonna be I think we're gonna be good now. Um, I do need some one by th or two by threes though. Let me grab just a couple. I only need, I think, three of them, which I could probably even get away with. Let's see. Could probably get away with a two by four also. But I'm gonna try and stick with the original design in the other floors. So there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> awesome! G. Jacobson said he made it to Bricks and Minifigs yesterday. Hello, Kenneth Swan and Art Claxton. <laughs> Aaron says he loves the Ghostbusters outfit, and thank you, my friend. Uh, I just, it's part of the reason I have it on. I quite literally, I've had the jumpsuit for a while, but I just literally got the uh, Spangler and the, the Ghostbuster emblem ironed on today. And I thought, well, you know, because I was playing around with this, because I, I do a lot of different things with, with uh, I like to make things and do costuming type stuff. And uh, since I thought, you know, since I got it on, <laughs> or since I ironed it on, why don't I wear this in a live stream? And uh, here we are. Lawrence Martin says the man, the myth, the legend. Carlos, hello, hello. G. Jacobson says, I'm the first like of the stream, and thank you, G. Jacobson. 
Uh, oddly enough, or I shouldn't even say oddly enough, the remote was under a pile of bricks. <laughs> and that was why I had to clean my table up. And good day to you also, Brooks Bricks. Doodle doo 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 doodle doodle doo doo. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are we gonna call? The Funny Farm. <laughs> uh, our Claxton, this is the building behind my Ghostbusters building. That's uh, kind of the reason I have this particular outfit on. Trying to be more funny than I usually am. <laughs> And yes, like I said, it was. It was under a pile of bricks. I will not lie. And that stays there. That's got to move because that looks ugly. Let's move that one over one. <clears throat> Brick Lock, Illinois says he's going to hang out in lurk mode. No problem at all, my friend. Totally understand. So this is probably going to be kind of a quick stream, um, being that it's Sunday, because my intention, honestly, for the future anyway, is I was going to try and stream on Saturdays, and then Sundays is going to be my day of rest. Um, in the future, looking forward anyway, that's what I'm intending on doing. So I don't know how many more Sunday streams I will do, but because I didn't stream yesterday, I thought I should probably stream today. And hence, I am here. And it's got to come off. The Brick Buster is what I, <laughs> Anthony Perot says. Yes. <laughs> G. Jacobson says he's strange. It all depends on your definition of strange. It all depends on what the definition of is is. And that is not where I wanted to be. I want this guy. That. Oh, that's why it's not working out right. There we go. Helps if I stagger them correctly. Really? Why is it before? Give me one second. I am trying to figure out. That's what it was. I didn't use a brick before. That's why it's not working quite right and looking a little goofy. Okay, now it's making sense. So say because it's just nothing is adding up the way it's supposed to, and it's because I didn't use a brick on the first uh, step. I used a plate because the height differences are a little bit goofy. And a one, and a two. Those will not work, so let's move to this drawer, and we can find something here, I'm sure. <clears throat> Trying to find either a bunch of two by four plates or two by three plates. And I am getting low in brown in color. Uh, Stadloon, basically every building in my city. Uh, Cause he's asking if I'm gonna make any more modular buildings. Uh, everything in my city is pretty much custom. That's kind of what I do, so yes. I will be making a lot more custom modular buildings. It's just they uh, they take a lot of time, unfortunately, and they take a lot of parts. But I I will always be doing custom modular buildings, my friends. That's that's what we're actually working on right now. It's one, two. I really don't like the color because that's the old brown. But I might, I might just stick with that one. <clears throat> nobody would really see it, I think. Anyway, there we go. 
And Joe, yes, because uh, I did see that you ordered two sticker sheets. I just want to say, uh, I don't respond or send an email out until, since I noticed that you're in here. That's so the reason I'm saying it, because Joe says he's excited for my stickers. Um, I What it is, is once they are mailed out, which tomorrow, because today was Sunday, I couldn't mail them today. But once they're mailed out, I'll send you an email and I'll give you the tracking number and all that good stuff. I do have them packed though, believe it or not, and they are sitting by the door already. So I'm gonna say you should have them no later than Friday because they will be getting dropped off at the post office tomorrow. And I hope you enjoy them. I think they are, I think they're really good. I know I've had a lot of people tell me that they love them and holy crap, thank you, Papa's Bricks. Papa's Bricks just donated $9.99. That's awesome of you, buddy, I appreciate that. But like I said, you should have them. And now I gotta figure out where the stopping point but you should have them by, like I said, tomorrow, or uh, by Friday. And bear with me. Let's put that there. So I gotta support the stair. And again, thank you so much, Papa's Bricks. That was very freaking awesome of you. And I wish I had a hat on because I would flip my hat around just like your little sticker's doing. Jonathan says, who are you going to call? Bevan's Bricks. I would absolutely make the barn modular if I could. You are totally correct in saying that, my friend. And why is it my numbers... because I did it differently. Okay. I did it down here. That's what I did differently. Now it should make sense. Should make sense. Never heard of him. Uh, G. Jacobson's is asking if anybody knows of Bill Ward of Brickpile. Like I said, never heard of him. So to answer your question, that would be a no. And let's change this to that, because that'll make that stronger. And then we can put this dude right here. And then I need a two, one by two on top. Let me grab just a couple of those. So I have them for future. Is my logo going to be stickers too? The logo is at, here I'll even show you real quick, just so you know. When you buy the sticker sheets from me, the logo is on the sticker sheet. If you want to actually use it, you have to cut it off though, because that's, that's the one part that I didn't physically cut on these. All these stickers are cut though, but I didn't put, I didn't do a cut around the Bevan's Brick sticker, and I probably should have, but uh, these are the stickers that Joe Bennett's talking about that I have on my website for sale. There's a whole bunch of them, and these are pre-cut, believe it or not. And I'm trying to remember how many stickers in total is on this sheet. I don't want to sit and count real quick, but I thought it was 50 something. I think I have that posted, the number posted, on the uh, actual website. I'm trying to put those back away so they don't get lost. So I like to keep all my inventory in one spot. And thank you, Aaron. He says those look good. Emmanuel, hello to Italy, my friend. And he says, nice work. Train Brandt, hello, hello. And we know that we got that dude there. Now let's start working on the interior walls. Let's just take this and start dumping it out. Um, I got my two doors. How much are there? They are $14.99 a piece. And as always with my website, anything on there, and I, <laughs> that brings up another valid point. 
Um, I just uploaded three new instruction uh, things to my website today. One of them was the bump stop, uh, train bump stop. Another one was a black sedan car. And the third one was a new um, arcade machine. My son has been going crazy making instructions. So I am posting like crazy with those instructions. And uh, those are all on my website as well. Oh, the other thing I was gonna say though, is as with anything on my website, uh, any purchases over $30, any purchases at all on my website, over $30 ship for free. So I do like to make sure that I make that known as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why doesn't that seem right? Oh, because I'm in the wrong floor. I'm gonna do this floor last. So let me set that floor aside. As I say, that seems bigger and it is because it's the first floor. So let's go to this one first. And good evening, Sable Malamute. Rob says that jumpsuit looks comfy. Believe it or not, it is. Uh, I got this jumpsuit off of Amazon and I got it quite simply just because I, I wanted to do the, the Ghostbusters stuff on it. And it's the same color as the Ghostbusters uh, jumpsuit. So um, I got these iron on patches off of Amazon as well. And I just, I really, really love Ghostbusters. And I wanted to have a complete costume because I, for those that are not aware, uh, Hasbro Plus is selling, if you got in on the Jumpstart program, they're gonna be coming out next year with the Proton Pack to go with my Proton gun that I already have. And I was like, oh my God, I gotta have those. And it's like, well, if I got the Proton Pack and the gun, I gotta have a costume, otherwise it just wouldn't go right because you know, I will most likely start using this in videos and such just to be silly. <laughs> and with that, I had to get the patches and I got the suit and I'm slowly trying to piece together a really cool looking costume with it. And thank you, Sable. He says, let's get this video to 100 likes. And now let's pop that out. Where's my brick? Do, do, do. Put that dude there. And there we go. Bada boom, a bada bing. No, the campaign for the Proton Pack is closed, but they did reach way more. Let me try and get this over a little bit better so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, but they did reach way more uh, donators than they ever anticipated. So all of the, what's the word I'm looking for, accessory packs were actually made. So you get the Proton Backpack, you get the Proton Backpack Stand, you get the accessory cable that hooks up onto your Proton Gun, um, you get slime that comes with it, both green and purple. There's some stickers and some other things that come with it. Um, very, 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 very cool to say the least. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was uh, extremely happy to learn that they were finally going to be making that. But like I said, that the Kickstart campaign is over on that. And thank you, Lego Joe. He says, clicking that like button is something I can do. <laughs> Aaron says, I hope you get your 50 subs. I'm assuming you mean the 50,000, and I, I really appreciate that, my friend. Yes, Jonathan, all the tiers were unlocked. So you're obviously, you know exactly what I'm talking about then with that backpack. Because to me, that thing was freaking amazing and I, I, I had to have it. There was nothing, no if, ands, or buts about it. That was just something I had to have. And I need two white doors. I think I've shown it, whoops. I think I've shown it in other videos, but just to show you guys, because I have, and where did I set that? Because I was playing with it earlier. Can't have toys if you don't play with them. Here they are. <laughs> just to show you though, because they do have, they do have the little um, 
trap. And then this is the proton gun that you will be able to attach to the backpack when you get it. And I know I've shown this in previous videos. This thing is freaking awesome. You power it up, turn it on. You can adjust the speed of the vibration and stuff. And then you can even hit the button and it shoots the, the beam out the end of it. But it's very, very, very cool toy to say the least. And that's why I said I, once I got that stuff, it was like, okay, I gotta have it all. <laughs> Manual, um, international shipping, I'm sorry, I don't have that. Uh, my instructions, though, don't require shipping at all. So with that, you can buy as many instructions as you want, and there is no shipping because it's all downloadable. Um, as far as shipping to other countries, though, I just, I, I can't do it. I could do it, but, and I, I guess I might try at some point, but here's the thing. This is why I originally, or I don't currently have it set up for international shipping. International shipping, man, it is expensive. Um, and I would have to charge an arm and a leg for it. And I would just, it's because it's not that I mind shipping it. It's just, it's holy crap. I don't want, I don't want to gouge anybody on the shipping is what it boils down to. And I feel like I have to gouge in order to be able to sell internationally. Oh, my boss is okay with everything I do. Trust me. <laughs> We're good. Nope, she has no problem at all with me buying my toys. Trust me, if she did, I would be the first to know. <laughs> but she's very cool about me buying all my different gadgets and toys and, and all that good stuff. Mike says, I did show the barn or the gun before because I was shooting it at him. <laughs> like I said, I just, to me, that, that those freaking things are awesome. They're very, I mean, cool. Is not, I, I, I just, I, I can't brag enough about them. I, I love those little gadgets. I like the little trap, too. That actually works and has uh, uh, green lights and stuff in it, too. But what I'm going to try and do at some point is I want to take those and make a little uh, video and do some special effects and stuff with them is, is what my intention is anyway. If, if you're willing to pay the high price of shipping, uh, Emmanuel, I mean, like I said, I, I really don't have a problem doing it. It's just, again, like I said, I personally, uh, and, it, and it's just my own feelings. I personally feel bad even thinking about doing shipping because I know, I know the prices would be high. Uh, if, you, if you don't mind the price of the shipping being high though, I can get it set up for you um, for international shipping. No, my wife does not build Lego at all. It's funny, isn't it? Because you would think somebody that is as heavy into Lego as I am that she would probably build Lego. And no, she does not. And I want, let's continue on with the same format I had for the tubs and all that. So I'm going to keep it simple, stupid, as I like to say. Um, I need some 1x4 whites. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we need three of those guys, one for each floor. Three. Get out there. There we go. And I am going to need three of the one by four brackets, or at least I call them brackets. I believe they are considered a modified tile. So again, I am just keeping the bathroom as simple as possible. So just to show you, these are the parts I'm talking about. I'm going to get three white two by two round bricks. And then what I do with those is I take a white brick, put it on the back of it. So that'll become my toilet. And I need six of the, I'm going to call them half round tiles, because that'll be the top of the toilet seat. And that is what I am trying to fish out right now. I've got three, uh, four, I need two more. I have all my, it's, uh, what do you call these? 
like the little click it pieces or whatever. I have them all in every color in one little drawer. And then I also need three jumper plates. So there's those. The jumper plates are for the back side of the toilet because then I put the little round guy on top of that. And then for the sink, I do a really simple, simple sink. And I will show you how I do that because we are trying to minimize the amount of space that we use inside of this building because we're very limited on space. So I'm gonna grab uh, also three, two, three of these little bar pieces. So this is everything we're gonna need for the sink. And then I need some one by two white. I need three of those. And then I need three one by one white. Where's the third one? Come out, come out, there you are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, let's see. And I am missing a bunch of comments, so bear with me guys. I'm gonna try and scan back through some of these. Paul Bot says there's something strange playing on the tube. Who are you going to call, Bevan's Bricks? <laughs> and how's it going, Paul Bat? <coughs> uh, yay, okay. Um, I will do a city update sometime this week. I'm trying to get a few more little small things done before I do the city update. So you can expect to see one this week. Uh, R. Claxton said, Bevan's Bricks, you need to use your Ghostbuster gun on Paul Bat. He's right behind you. Uh, G. Jacobson says, my wife admires the builds, but doesn't build either. That's, that's exactly how my wife is, G. Jacobson. And absolutely, Lego Joe, toys are for everyone. I totally agree with you. And then R. Claxton says, speaking of the devil, talking about Paul Bot. Paul Bot was saying he was wondering what happened to the interiors, not that he's complaining. <laughs> and that's like I said, we're, we're working on those right now. Uh, Kyle Knapp says, I, uh, I bought three minifigures yesterday for my collection of minifigs. Awesome, my friend. Macabre Animation says, I'm making a pizzeria with apartments on top. At first, I was going to make it with a duplex, but because of possible space constraints. And I totally understand that uh, space can be a problem. That's why I do stuff like this and keep it small. Keep it simple, stupid is my policy when it comes to interiors for buildings like this. Uh, Emmanuel says, so I will see if the international shipping prices are quite accessible. Uh, absolutely, I look forward to it, my friend. Um, and Paul Bot, talking to R. Claxton. Awesome. Like I said, I, I will see what I can look into as far as shipping, though, Emmanuel. And uh, when I do have a solution for that, I will try and post something. I can't do free shipping, though, for international people. That is something that definitely, definitely would not be happening at all. Um, because that would just be ouch um, in the slightest. But anyway, for the toilet, we are simply going to use this round two by two. And again, this is just a real simple build to save space. We're just doing this and then putting these little pieces on the front because we want the space of the bathroom to be as constricted as possible. We don't want to take up too much. Now we're gonna take, I guess I should have grabbed six of these. We're gonna grab this. And we're gonna put one of these little bracket or corner pieces right there. And then I put a brick next to it. And then just quite simply, I do that for the sinks because this will be against the wall. So the back of the sink will have a backing. So we do that three times. And again, I am gonna have to grab three more bricks because I didn't grab enough for all three sinks and toilets. But just to show you, there's two of those. Let me grab three more bricks. I need those to finish those little pieces. <clears throat> so again, for the toilet, it's just simply a brick. Two of these little, lack of a better word, click it pieces. They're the little small corner tile pieces. Put a jumper on top and then the buttons. So there's our toilet. So now we got two toilets. So now let's go with our third toilet. Just repeat. Rinse, wash, repeat, rinse, wash, repeat until we get them all built. So there's another toilet and now we're gonna go with the last sink. And put that there. 
and put this here. And then another thing that I want to do, because I think it helps add a little bit of detail, is when I put this wall in, I want to put some snot bricks in here. And the reason I'm going to put the snot bricks in here, just to really, because this is one of the interiors that I did, just to quickly show you though, I like to put a tile on the wall because it gives it the appearance right above the sink that you actually have uh, a little mirror on the wall, and that's what that point of that is. And happy belated birthday to you, R. Claxton. I was not aware it was your birthday, so happy birthday, my friend. And good evening to you, Frank and Bricks. Let me grab, let's see, I need the snot. Here they are, snot bricks. And we're gonna need three tiles. One, two, three. Now, something I will tell you that I've been debating on doing, and you know what, let's see. I wanted to see if I had any really old, nasty looking tiles. Let's see if I can find some. You know what, better yet, let me go look in my bin o garbage, my off-brand pieces, because I would feel better about using that, and I might have a little trick I wanna show you guys to make an actual mirror, or at least it's supposed to make an actual mirror. I bought these not that long ago, uh, to be perfectly honest. And hold on while I am, I almost feel like I really don't have any plates in the bag o or in the bins of, uh, of garbage. So I would rather try it on an off-brand type of product first. But I had found these markers uh, on Amazon, and they are supposed to be chrome markers. Bear with
bingo bango. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. And thank you so much, Frank and Bricks. He donated a dollar just to prove that he couldn't hear me. <laughs> nope, it's just my battery. And that's, I keep forgetting to check the batteries before I go live, so that is my fault. So yeah, I kind of dropped the mic. <laughs> the silent movie version of Bevan's Bricks. Anyway, though, what I was going to say is uh, somebody else said the Milochrom paper, so I'm going to have to look into that. And I'm trying to get this to come out. But this is supposed to as I can get it to work anyway. This is supposed to make stuff look chrome. Shaking it up because I haven't used it yet. Yes, positive to negative and negative to positive. Well, I noticed because I, I, I had stopped and I wasn't going to change the other batteries, but then I noticed that it was on its last leg and I thought if I don't change them now, um, it's going to quite simply just slowly coming. It's going to quite simply just die probably in the next 10 to 15 minutes too. So that's why I thought, well, let me go ahead and change them both. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Aluminum tape would be another solution. Um, to be perfectly honest, you know, something I used to do as a kid when I wanted mirrors and stuff is I used to take tinfoil because it's very thin and then you can kind of flatten it out but you take tin foil and then you'd wrap it around like a plate like that and then you could pop it on to stuff and then it would give you the look of it being a mirror and hello alan carey how are you and papa's brick says aluminum tape also works like i said it was just this was like a, a four dollar marker and i thought you know what all the bragging i'm seeing on it i wanted to try it okay let's try it let's see how it looks guys and let me get, you know what, let me get a Lego brick again from my off-brand collection just to hold it with so I'm not getting it on my fingers. And here we go. I don't like to use my good stuff. I only use the off-brand stuff for things like this. Is there an electrician in the house? <laughs> It was the ghost behind me that caused it, is what our, our, our Claxton said. Anthony says he's fallen asleep to the sound of my voice. Not hearing you anymore woke me up. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that doesn't mean that I'm that dull and boring. Anyway, let's try. It's like I said, it's supposed to make it look like a mirror. And I will believe it when I see it. Looks like I still need to get more on it. It's not wanting to quite come out as well as I want it to. And I don't recommend doing this with your Lego at home, guys. Like I said, this is just me testing something out just because I thought it would be a, a cheap solution for something. Touching it over like I'm doing is probably making it worse. I should have let it dry first. Well, it's making it pop, but it still has a uh, you can see where my writing lines are. So I'm gonna say this is probably not a good suggestion for doing mirrors in the future. Um, and that's why I wanted to test it on an off-brand part. <laughs> so I'm the last thing that 
that Anthony hears when he goes to bed. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know if that might be kind of creepy. <laughs> and part of it is it isn't wanting to stick. So let me try it one more time. Because it's like wanting to separate as I'm doing it. And let's try it one more time and see, like I said, and it's an off-brand part, so we don't care if it gets destroyed. Um, Emmanuel says, would it be possible making the Peter Parker apartment building on this building? It's really similar. I used all the parts for my, uh, Peter, from my Peter Parker building for my Sanctum Sanctorum mock, and then I also used a lot of those pieces on my uh, apartment complex that's in my city. So I don't really have any of those left, but yes, that would be a good way to do it. Anthony says he's working on his train station at the same time. And I'm thinking, yes, Papa's Bricks, that sticker thing would probably be better. Like I said, though, I just, I saw this online and I thought, you know what, why not try it? But I almost think also another problem is uh, this needs to be scratched up. So it's not adhering as well as it should, if that makes sense. Burn it if it don't work out. Um, I don't want to burn that because, man, that would freaking flame up quick. Have you ever seen plastic burn? The funniest thing I ever saw, and uh, people didn't believe me, but I, a lot of people know that I used to play in bands. Uh, I was a bassist. And uh, the guitar pick, if you ever light a guitar pick, that thing will flash in front of your eyes from a small flame. <laughs> and that's possible, R. Claxton. He said, maybe my boss went to swap the batteries out. I'm trying to get this to dry. Well, it, it, it is a chrome look, which is what the pin is supposed to be. I was hoping more for a mirror look. So, I mean, it, it does work. So, you can see it's, it's shiny as heck. Um, but I honestly think that that would be something that you would really want to airbrush or something to make it more smooth. So we will probably do what everybody else was saying. I will try and find some tape or paper or something that I can cut up to make mirrors out of. Because even though that gives you that flash, that reflection, um, it's not as nice as I would like it to be. And yes, that's exactly what I should do. G. Jacobson is wipe it down with nail polish. You are absolutely correct. I'm gonna set this aside though and move forward with building. I just, like I said, it just popped in my head that I had that. And I thought, why not give it a try real quick live, and that way everybody can see it. And um, not real happy with the results. <laughs> oh, that sounds cool. Asa Asa says he ordered the parts from three Paw Patrol sets. He wants to wanted to steal the stickers from the toys. There you go. Joshua Long Photography says, I know I want to go light a guitar pick on fire. Uh, you know what, if I have one, I'm trying to think, I normally have them laying around. Here, let me see, I might have one sitting right over here. If I have one, I'll light it for you guys, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Because they do, they're like just instantaneous, like flash. They will, they'll burn your finger in a second. Where is, here we go. <laughs> Lego George Lucas says, after my house burns down, I'm telling my mom, or I'm telling them that you told me to light a guitar pick. Anyway, here's a guitar pick. Like I said, I have tons of them. Hold on one second. It's been a long time since I've done this, but let's see. We'll get the camera down here. Are we ready? 
So here's the guitar pick. I want the camera closer. So you guys can really, really see it. Okay, you guys ready? So like I said, they, they flash quick. And I think a lot of people would be surprised at just how quickly they flash. But here it goes. And of course, this one ain't going to do it. Might be because it's so old. But I had one, my guitarist had one one time though. So it didn't do the flash I was wanting it to do. But my guitarist, and it, it might be a certain brand too, but he had one and I took it and, and flicked it with a, with a lighter. And like I said, that didn't do what I was hoping it would do. But he had one and I took it and flicked it with a lighter and I swear to God, I thought I was gonna catch on fire. <laughs> Anthony says, my wife is running to the barn right now. <laughs> well, you got to have a little fire every now and then. Got to have a little fun. <laughs> What's life without a little, without a little fire? You know? What am I? You know? What are you doing? <laughs> fire! Fire! Wim <laughs> cornholio, cornholio. Need TP for my bunghole. <laughs> Jeff says. The fumes from the, the marker got to me. And like I said, I used to do a lot of dumb stuff like that when I was a kid is what that is about. <laughs> Quite simply. But anyway, that is the bathroom before we put the wall up, just so you can see. And now I'm going to start working on the wall. And that is a 1x6. So I'm going to push that back to the side and build our wall up. Listen, what is that? I need 11Zs. What's 11Zs? Burning down the house. Yeah, that would have been a good song for that. <laughs> I can't even think of the words to that song. I can hear it in my head, but for whatever reason, I can't think of the words. But that, that you know, that was a good old song. I will say that. Uh, I want to go one more row. So much for me showing you how quick they flash, though. I was hoping it was going to flash up really good. Now let's take that. Burning down the house. Do 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 do. And we are going to go with the original method for doing the faucet. And we will or the the mirror. Bricklock says they are making fun at me because Greg is always eating. <laughs> Shane says good day. Cool more building in the works or it's a building. It's this is all one building. This is just all the individual floors for that building. And I'm just making sure I got my right height. And there you go. Now you can see we got the little mirror on the wall. And we're going to put the bathroom door on. And now we got to put another door here. And then we're going to build this final wall. This door goes right here. And now we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stud wall. Pour some more of these dudes out. Come on, baby, light my fire. I used to love that song. Try to set the night on fire. I know you want to be with you. I love that tune. <laughs> he died way too early, unfortunately.
very, very unfortunate. Because he made some amazing, amazing music. Anybody ever see the movie about him? It was actually quite interesting. Bricklock says the stairs remind him of a house he looked at that was built in 1921. And when you wear size 15 shoes, and three quarters of your feet hang off. It's a bit scary. Absolutely. I can see that. I, uh, I, I know exactly what you're talking about too, Bricklock, Illinois, because back when me and the wife were looking at houses when we were young, um, back when we lived in Belleville, uh, we had looked at a few different houses, and man, that was the big turnoff for me on one of the houses. It was a super, super steep stairwell. And not only was it steep, but holy crap, man, it was like little steps, you know, like that big. I don't have as big a foot as you. I wear a size 12, but still, it was like, dude, where the heck do you step? It's like, give me some slack here. Um, Got to put another one in a row. Come on, baby, light my fire. Green Acres is the place to be. Farm living is the life for me. <laughs> How many people know that song? That is another oldie but a goodie for a show. Farm living far and wide. Give me that countryside. New York is where I want to stay. I get allergic smelling hay. God, how I love a penthouse view. Darling, I love you, but give me Park Avenue. Shane Hart says, gosh, talking of fires, <laughs> your great fireplace build, uh, we only want to see your Lego fires. Sparks in action. <laughs> I am hoping to have that as available as instructions too, um, hopefully in the near future. And why does that seem high? That's why, because I plated it out, so I got to get my plates. Hold on. For some reason, I thought I could brick it, but no, I have to plate it because of the way I raised the floor. Um, so I am looking for my, I think, there they are, one by two plates. Here we go. Really, Mike? Thank you. <laughs> Why can't the mic die when I'm singing? Wow, dude. At least I know how you really feel. You know, don't hold back. Please. Don't hold back at all. Tell me how you really feel. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, 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 really want wah. Whatever that stupid song was. Oh, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Easy Craftsman, how the heck are you, buddy? And no, I did not play Tell Me What You Want, What You Really, Really Want. We used to play stuff like uh, Pantera, Metallica, uh, God. Living F. Judas Priest. I was trying to think, I was having a brain cramp there. But how the heck are you, Mr. Craftsman? I hope you're doing well. I make you laugh till the cow come home. <laughs> Thank you, Lego Joe. <laughs> and Chris says, great. Now is, see, it's catchy. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. You know, it's funny. I actually had someone told me what they want, what they really, really want. Because they really, 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 really want to really, really, really. <laughs> uh, anyway, the point I was going to make, though, is I had someone once tell me that that song is... 
the actual thought process of a woman. And they say that because the whole song is about tell me what you want, what you really, really want, without telling me what you want, what you really, really want, because they never tell you what they really, really want. <laughs> Hope I didn't offend anybody with that. And what on um, God's green earth? There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Black says, oh sure, back pedal your music faves. <laughs> they really do? They play that song on the radio on a daily basis? Oh my god, dude, I'm sorry. That song has not been popular here in a very long time. Oh, another song like my, <laughs> my daughter. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world made of plastic. Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> they wanted to zig a zig ah, yeah, exactly. Really, really, really want to zig a zig ah. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but you know, that is what it was. That's what they wanted. <laughs> Railway says, You are a brave man. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'll get a good smack upside the head when I go in the house. I can take it, though. The wife's used to my hilarity. And I'm used to getting beat for it, so you know it's all good. Sing a song about how Paul Bot is my bestie. Oh God. Well, Mike is singing his milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Would that qualify for that particular type of song? <laughs> Wow, Mike, and you guys are making fun of me. Your milkshake's going to town now. I mean, it's that's just, that's uh, it's not right, dude. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Nobody should see your milkshake. Uh, Anthony was saying in the UK, it's all about songs from the past. I get that. I do. Because, I mean, it, don't get me wrong, a lot of that's here as well. Depending on the channel you listen to. Most but most of my favorite channels anyway are older channels. G. Jacobson says sometimes his wife asks him where they can go for dinner and sometimes he gets it right. <laughs> sometimes. I like, is it I'm trying to think, is that a commercial on TV? I believe it is. Uh, but that's what the premise of the commercial is, is they're basically kind of, not necessarily arguing, but they're trying to figure out where they want to eat. I want to say it's like an Allstate commercial. And then all of a sudden it's, uh, they figure out where they're going to eat because they about rear-ended a taco truck. So he looks at her and says, tacos? And she says, yes, tacos. <laughs> Our Claxton says, you are wrong. Paul Bot is a cool guy. Uh, Rob says, only the Brits will get it, but the Crazy Frog song burrows into your head and stays there forever. Yeah, I don't know what the Crazy Frog song is, so, uh, and I'm hoping I never do if it's something that burrows into your head, because I don't want anything burrowed in my head. That is not a good place to be. Oh, let's do this one first. We already got that on there that back down. Oh, that's the first floor though. That's why I wanted to do that one last. So I'm trying to get the interior walls in. Really, really, really want a zinga zinga. Don't think any of the minifigs will complain that they can't see themselves. I don't know, man. They can be some picky little dudes. And I feel like I am about to sneeze, so I'm going to apologize in advance if I do, because my sneezes are rather loud. And... Oh, I didn't put... So say, why is it not lining up again? But I didn't rip it out and put the plates in. Still 
<laughs> eat a national restaurant that they call I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> Actually, I can't really argue because my wife honestly cooks almost every night. When she don't cook, she goes and picks whatever out. So um, that's never an argument in our house, thank God. But I do hear that argument from a lot of people I know. Just wish they would pick something. But like I said, I am very lucky. I never have that argument with my wife. But I've learned the secret to that too, though. It's whatever they say is where you're going. <laughs> Just yes. Yes. If you want to go to yes, problem solved. You're done. You're in. You're, you're gone. It's finished. Finit. Finit. Smoking out his hind in. You got me here. I'm wondering what that. Because the only frog song I can think of is Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Do 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 was a good friend of mine. Never understood a single word he said, but we always had a mighty fine time. That's that's the only frog song that I know. A singing joy to the world. Uh, one, two, three, and a one, and a two, and a... Any plans for the Peter Parker apartment in my city? Uh, kind of, sort of had one, but I'm probably going to try and add an, uh, one that looks more like the Peter Parker apartment, because it would make sense. I, um, we were talking about that kind of earlier in the stream, and what we were talking about was the fact that, uh, cause I used, it was, I can't remember if it was three or four Sanctum Sanctorum sets to build one of the buildings that I have in my city, uh, on top of the fact that I built the actual Sanctum Sanctorum. Um, but that ate up most of my parts for trying to build a Peter Parker thing, and I need to get a bunch, one, two, three, four, five, I need to get a bunch of uh, masonry bricks in order for me to do it the way that I would want to do it. Oh, okay, Brick Sergeant said that song was never in the U.S. from what he knows of, so that, that explains why I am not familiar with it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That explains it. Um... Where, where, oh, where did my little dog go? Oh, where, oh, where can she be? Oh, where, oh, where can she be? I am going to be modifying the Daily Bugle heavily, but that is something... I do have that set, and I will be modifying it. I will be altering it. Or I might even just build my own from scratch. But uh, my problem with the Daily Bugle, as it stands, I don't like the building at all. And the reason that I say that is quite simply this. Uh, to me, that particular building, it, it just... In order for, and this is for me, and I know I'm kind of like a, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? I am a fan of DC and Marvel both. And from the comic books, that building resembles the comic book building, which I thought was cool. But man, they went too small. And the reason I say they went too small is because in the comic books and all that, the building sign is supposed to be the exact width of the actual building. So. When Lego made that particular set, to me, they, they, they botched it up. They botched it up because they didn't go wide enough with the building. And that is really quite simply what I'm going to be doing with the building because I'm going to be widening it, widening it just a bit because, because it needs it. Uh, Railway says, I've been married for 30 years, but I've been happily married for five and now we're here, and now we're there, and so on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can tell.
tell your wife is not around. <laughs> oh, I like that though. It's a good one. <laughs> and married for 30 years, happily for five. Oh god, those are the kind of comments that'll get you killed. And usually I have some good zingers, but I'm keeping them to myself. Which the wife's heard most of them, but Kyle says he's gotta wait for Lego Yoda to be built. I love my Lego Yoda. He's very good. It's very, very, very cool. I love mine. And he's right behind me, as a matter of fact, up on the, the wall up here. Well, actually, excuse me, that's Grogu. I never built my Lego Yoda. Anthony, are you saying for the song? I appreciate that, my friend. I will try and look that up here shortly. And I just realized what time it was. And two, three, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So we gotta put the snot bricks. It's like one of the guys I work with, I'll give you a quick singer. Uh, his favorite phrase, and it always, I always laugh my butt off when he says it. He always says, stay single and your pockets will jingle. <laughs> so that that's a good one for you guys. And Raven, how the heck are you? Let's put the shower and the toilet and the kitchen sink. Actually, this is the bathroom sink, but... And the mirror, bada boom, bada bing. And there we go with the door. Get on there, to do, do Well, by the way that you're talking, I have a feeling it's probably like baby baby shark. Do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 One of those songs that once it's in your head, it just never goes away, ever, forever. <laughs> Railway says, I didn't know she had a real name for the first 23 years of Mary Life. I thought her first name was Wife, and her middle name was Yester. <laughs> Wow, dude, you're lucky you're alive. <laughs> Shane says, so this deleting 500 videos is interesting. We'll come out of that. Curious what will come out of that. Freeing up extra space, more videos, uh, digital home space to live in two places at once. Honestly, the only reason I'm really doing that uh, is number one, is from everything that I'm, cause I've, I've been trying to watch a lot of different videos lately. And I've been watching different people's channels where they've done experiments with deleting videos and, and things of that nature, underperforming videos. And don't get me wrong, um, deleting them isn't always the best option. Let me say that first. But it's not a bad option either. Uh, it all depends on your channel and your statistics. For me, though, I was looking at a lot of the different videos, and a lot of them were just never well received to begin with. And I was trying to think of ways that I could possibly edit them because you can still edit a video once you upload it to YouTube. And I just really did not see anything good to make them anything good or better. So uh, that was why I went ahead and opted to just totally wipe it out. But quite simply, what all that is about, I mean, just uh, the, the quick and the short of it, or short and the quick of it, however you want to call it, um, is quite simply this, is when you have as many videos as I had on my channel, because I had over 1,000, before I even posted that video, I already deleted the 500 videos I was going to delete. That's why I kind of chuckle, because a lot of people were like panicked at what I was going to delete, and it's like, I bet nobody even notices, because they're already gone, and I'll bet you nobody, there's only a one type of video that I think people would immediately notice, and after that, I don't think anybody would ever notice anything. Um, but, uh, like I said, I deleted them all before I even did it, and I don't think anybody really even noticed. 
but it's because they were very, very, very underperforming videos. And to be perfectly honest, some of them, uh, quite frankly, were underperforming for my own fault. Um, they were just very poorly made. Most of them were my old videos, videos from like five and six years ago. And I mean, they, they, they were what they were. They were bad, uh, in my opinion, because I, I even tried to watch them and they were just, they were just bad. And to keep stuff like that around on your channel is uh, quite honestly detrimental to your channel because you want people to get on your channel and start watching videos. And if people watch some of your really old bad videos like that, what ends up happening is it turns them off and then they leave. So now you just lost views because now you have somebody that will probably never come back to your channel again. And that's what the big uh, removal, booting, uh, whatever you want to call it, delete on my channel is for. To try and prevent that from happening. Anyway though guys, uh, just like Anthony, I do need to get off here. That was part of the reason why I started my stream so early. I didn't realize I've already been on for over an hour. We'll come back and work on this some more tomorrow. Um, but before I leave, I want to make sure I roll that beautiful bean footage to make sure I give credit to those that have helped support the stream as I really, truly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And with that, I want to give a very special thank you to Brick Sergeant, Papa's Bricks, and Franken Bricks. Thank you guys all so much for the awesome donation. But anyway, I've got to get off here and I will try and post a video and we'll see about streaming tomorrow. So. Anyway, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below, and hopefully we will see you guys next time or maybe even tomorrow on Bevan's Bricks. Take care, everybody, and have a blessed day.